Hi, dear Libra. Welcome to your December 2017 spiritual guidance. We're going to start with your health and wellness focus, and we're going to go on into how the energy will impact you and how to best utilize it. And then we're going to begin your spiritually guided reading. So stay tuned. So Libra, on December 3rd, we've got the Gemini full moon. And for you, that may highlight some pain in your sciatic nerve. It may be a pain that's radiating on the left side of your body, your, low, your leg, radiating all the way down. Um, and it could also refer over to the, to the right side, your right leg. This is a numbing. It is a horrible feeling. Um, you may want to, to ice it. You may be rubbing it all day. You may not be able to sit or stand and be without pain. So please, please make sure you're looking into it if you're feeling that type of energy. Um, if you're on the liver transplant list or if you're needing to get testing or diagnostics done, please don't miss your appointments. Um, any, any hips or thighs um, pain in those areas, this may come up. So if you're feeling that any type of sensation that is abnormal for you in your hips, your thighs, um, any kind of uh, look at your, um, your stool and your, your urine, if there's any kind of, of abnormalities there in the color, the smell, you know, the consistency there, the regularity of it, you know, really look deeper, look, look deeper and make the, the medical team work for you. Libra, going all the way down to the 18th of the month, for you, this is a new beginning in uh, your speech. You might be speaking up for yourself more, asserting yourself more, but also pay attention to your vocal cords. Pay attention to any cracks in your voice, any uh, pain or sensation in your lungs. If you're clearing your throat a lot, look deeper and see if there's some nervous energy there or if there's something medically um, that needs to be looked at for healing. Uh, this is also a new beginning in your fingers, your arms, your hands, your shoulders, and your nervous system overall. So combining traditional with uh, natural medicine there and techniques. Also, uh, just may be so simple as you trying out different uh, body movements such as um, Tai Chi or some other type of activity there. If you are again noticing cracking in your voice and it is going deeper to something that you're nervous about make the connection there and uh, really decide to uh, look into some self-development or some assertiveness training we actually have an assertiveness training e-course at ineedspiritualguidance.com. I am a certified assertiveness coach, so I encourage you to look into it. It is a self-paced program. So Libra, going to the third of the month, this is in your higher learning. You may decide to go back to school, to college, to university. This is also engaging your brothers and sisters-in-law and asking for their opinion. You might decide to check out where they're going to school or to just uh, change your philosophy. You might decide to look more into uh, a philanthropy, um, foreign affairs. You might decide to study abroad. This is long distance travel and journeying in that way is, is beautiful. And so also include international uh, commerce. So you might be investing in different currency, investing overseas, also deciding to book that trip, that vacation. Uh, this is also an understanding of religion and uh, even churches. So you might be, you know, have a, a, a desire to look deeper into religious umbrellas, uh, the makings thereof versus spirituality, the other way around. But this is really an area of the fullness of academic subjects. 
also uh, court proceedings. So the legalities of that can come into play. Um, this is also foreign culture, so you might take up a foreign language, you might engage a different part of town, um, and just really get out more, and you might decide to choose Mediterranean versus uh, fast food. So definitely have fun with it. You're going to take all of that energy that is coming to you, that is being released from you, and you're going to begin anew on the 18th in your communication. Now, this is not so much long distance travel as it was in the earlier part of the month, but now this is in your community. You are sharing that energy in your community. What came to you about um, the studying abroad or the expanded version of travel. Now, you might be going around the corner. You might be, you know, really discovering the beauty and the value within your own neighborhood. This is also communication at its best and whole. So if you're writing a book, if you're publishing, if you're vlogging or blogging, your website is highlighted here to start new beginnings in these areas. Campaigning, publicity, uh, advertising, any type of media is really blessed for you to start fresh and to start a new project in those areas. Your immediate environment, you might start to get your neighbor involved in a project. You might decide to journey a short distance and be, you know, in front of someone that's been there all along that can help push your project or your career, your craft in a major way. So this is local travel. This is travel within your own country as well. And really taking advantage of connecting with your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, and uh, really engaging that intellectual mental stimulation, enjoying the process and that conversation. This is that active search for wisdom and knowledge. The wisdom is gonna come. So remember to seek out that knowledge and you're, it's right up your alley. You are one of the social butterflies and you are an air sign and getting that communication and networking with it is going to prove to be successful for you. Let's get started with your spiritually guided reading. Hi, dear Libra. Let's go ahead and raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. You ready?
right. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please show their labor, their meditation. Thank you so much. Dear Libra, please look, be on the lookout for your career life focus. It'll be out very shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I see you reading the paper. Hmm. Abstinence. That is your focus for this month. I see you reading the paper. So maybe you are just biding your time and you are saying, you know what? I am pulling back, I am slowing it down, and I'm going old school, I'm going more tradition here. And so you might be going back into what your value system is, you might be going back to traditional dating or role playing and uh, courting, that process is beautiful. You might be going into understanding your role exchange within relationship, but you're pulling back and I feel like you're enjoying your every moment and abstinence is your focus and your meditation this month. You might be moving out of abstinence, but I really feel most of you have been considering it already. Thank you so much. And understanding the appreciation in it, knowing that this partner has to be divinely ordained because you want this commitment to last. And so you're reaching a higher level in relationship status. Speak up because it has been on your heart and soul, dear Libra. Tell your partner how you feel and open up to the wonderful security of commitment to and from another. If you're single, it is on your soul and spirit knows, dear love, this is confirmation to keep your thoughts of unconditional love, pure light, and your needs and desires in relationship. And Spirit is reminding you to commit to your self-worth before committing to someone else's standard for you. All right. So what are you in fear of? You have decided to pull back and listening to the wisdom of your heart has you focusing on abstinence, you know, and your self-worth, your self-value. And it's a major decision that you are making. And you may feel like things are out of control, but you're very aware of what's going on. And this is a decision you have to make that's causing you stress and strain. And it's necessary to step forward in the direction that Divine Source has you moving into. Spirit is sending you in this direction. Spirit is in control and will guide you every step of the way. So just listen to your soul, not your human ego. These red flags have come up before. Spirit's asking you, what are you in fear of letting go? So abstinence is your meditation this month. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, when you see those red flags, dear Libra, Spirit is telling you, these are the reasons why you have not reached that commitment with the one that spirit has waiting for you. And you're not the only one at all. And ignoring those red flags is because you're fearing something. But truthfully, what is it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm, okay. This situation may lack the longevity, it may lack that commitment that you're seeking. It's kind of going away. You're, someone's backpedaling. Someone is pulling back. I feel like that's why abstinence is there because you're needing to show up now and really face these red flags. And it can be kind of scary. Okay. But... You know, even though 
this, there's some backpedaling there. There's some backtracking. There's some, I'm not so sure I want to commit. I'm not so sure this is the one I want to have a family with. I'm not so sure you're the one I want to commit to. That energy is there. Marriage commitment is there. But someone's backtracking. Someone is saying, you know, I'm not so sure you're the one I can build an inheritance with. You're the one that I can build a legacy, you know, with. So there's some crossing views, and these are what's what is behind the red flags, I feel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For our dear Libras. All right. Oh, my. Okay. So someone cheated. There's been a lot of that going on, and it's been hitting the fan. December is that month. You know, and I'm so I'm grateful because, honey, you already knew it. No more of going and being a love triangle. You see the red flags. It's keeping you from the type of commitment you want. No more free sex. You're like, no, no, uh-uh. Because now I know she's getting all she wants. He's getting all he wants. Why am I in fear of letting go? But now it's in the past and it's coming back up. And this is really letting that energy go. You know, let's see. So I don't feel like all of the forgiveness has happened. I feel like the, the resentment is still there. I feel like maybe there's traces of this love triangle popping up that's threatening this beautiful home life. Oh, okay. Someone's not ready to commit. Who's not ready to commit? And you're needing to pull back. Because they've been getting all of it. You've been acting committed. But now they've shown you that, uh-oh, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the horse and carriage and the marriage. And I'm not ready. And you're seeing it. And Libra... We're showing it to you, and you're like, wait a minute. Are you stepping out again? There is instability. There's a lack of it right here. You want someone reliable. You want that dependability and stability back. You want the longevity. You don't want to keep hopping from relationship to relationship. You don't want to keep testing it out. You want it to be, this is the one. Oh, my. Blessings are here. Okay, so that energy of marriage is very strong. This love triangle was in the past. That energy is still there. Are you... You know, self-fulfilling prophecies do manifest. I want you to read that. They absolutely do. So keep your thoughts positive. You may need to pull back sexually or intimately and let your partner know why. That you are getting your own emotions under control. That you've got a major decision to make. That you don't know if they're the person you want to commit to. You don't know if this, if you have um, energy there to last. You're not so sure about them. You know, you're in your power saying that. And you're in your truth because you're absolutely, if that's how you feel, you're speaking your truth confidently and you're paying attention to not only the red flags that are happening around you, but within you too. But this is, there's a lot of good blessings here for it to last. I just feel like spirit has a strategy for you. Thank you so much. You might be taking some, some uh, self-help. Now, did you see how that just came out? It came out, turned up the way it rolled off of my fingertip. So I really feel like it's interchangeable. Where you're going forward, I feel like you're dancing. And Spirit wants you to get clear on what your choice is. Get clear so you can speak your truth. You can speak up 
and you can start this new conversation, this new dialogue, you can start this new mindset and not be um, hesitant, you know, have that positive conversation. And we're going to add some clarity here. Oh, my goodness. This has come up throughout, honey. Okay. So, someone has got to release it. You've got to forgive and move on. You've got to make that decision to do that instead of hemming and hawing and just hanging on to this relationship that was lustful that's why you don't want to have sex with them you're watching the red flags is there text messages communication you know is kind of haywire because mercury is retrograding right now there it is the environment is this okay you've already begun the talks to heal past this and this is turning this way okay as you're doing that you've already come to the acceptance of what that red flag is Libra but now you've got to own it own your power because you know this is what you want and honey it's there you've already taken the blindfold off however you're fearing that the worst is still to come. There's going to be some challenges. That's this. You know, it's darkest before dawn, and that sun is coming up, and you may feel totally exhausted this month, but you are going to push through. You're going to keep this agreement, agree to disagree, walk away when you need to. Pull back when you need to. Honor your space when you need to. Abstain when you need to. Let them know that you're not using um, intimacy or sex as a tool. I feel like that's very important, you know. But let them know why you feel like you need to be abstinent right now. Because the memory and the energy, the hurt and the pain of being cheated on. Is still lingering and you're still feeling it and you're still seeing miscommunication you're seeing communication phone calls of uh, body language you're seeing um, all kinds of communication listen to what is not being said that's why this is turning this way listen to what's not being said and you're going to keep that energy from battle mode listen you're not into, um, you know, having that battle. You're into listening to what's not being said so that you can have an adult conversation and you can have clarity there. Libra, my beautiful air sign, queen and king, of being able to have that conversation. Ooh. All right. The spiritual love is off because of that love triangle, because of someone cheating. Okay? You've got this happening in the past, but you two are not like this the way you should be. Something's blocking it, and we know what that is. But you want to move past it, and you're going to move forward, but you are taking control, okay? That's how you're going to move past it. You're the one that's going to change this back around to the spiritual love and the deepening of your commitment. You both may make an agreement to, okay, you're making that agreement, in agreement to be abstinent. And pulling in the energy of this, reversing that to positive inheritance, longevity, marriage, commitment, and having this person commit and be stable and be ready to stay and not be flighty and leave. You've got blessings here. Okay, good, good energy. 
Dear Libra, thank you so much. Be on the lookout for your career life focus. Please like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, share our video. Honey, stay in your power. Mwah. I love you and I'll see you soon.